Hi everybody, welcome back to another haul video with all the cool manga and anime that I got. Let's do this. First one on the list here is Black Lagoon Volume 1. I am so excited that I finally have this series. I've been a huge fan of the anime since forever and I've always wanted to collect it. I should have paid attention to my peers. They said it was going to go out of print. It did and I totally uh, forgot to pick up the volumes. Unfortunately, I don't have every single one of them for you on this video, but I do have officially half of the series. So you're seeing here volume 4, 5, 10, and last haul before this, I picked up volume 11 and of course volume 12, which is the latest release from two months ago. So hopefully the rest come back in stock soon so I can finish getting that and having a complete set. Next one here is Beastars Volume 20 from Paru Itagaki. I am reading these volumes as they come out. I don't know how the series concludes, but so far 19 volumes in. I love it so much. It's one of my favorites and I can't wait to dig in with this one with Volume 20 and continue the excellent story. This damn book, Rooster Fighter Volume 1. I don't know what happened. I pre-ordered this like a week or two before it released and the order from Right Stuff just sat there for all of August and it shipped towards the end. So I had to wait, I think almost like three and a half weeks. And by the time I got it, Everybody had already talked about Rooster Fighter. Everybody already knows about it. They've done videos. So now it's not as fun anymore. Still, I do want to make a fun video on Rooster Fighter. It's so much fun. <laughs> it, you only need to know that it is a badass rooster and he is fighting against kaiju monsters in Japan because he's trying to avenge his sister. So in the process, he saves a lot of people. He meets a lot of animals. It's just a really bombastic, fun series. I highly recommend it. Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai. Here is volume four of that series with this beautiful prestige edition, if you will, from Viz. I love this series so much. One of my all-time favorite shonen. I always say it. It's one of the best, in my honest opinion. And here, volume four, picking up speed with uh, more intense battles and just look at the awesome artwork. I love it so much. Maison Ikoku Volume 9. Now, if you know your way around MangaTube, you know that uh, Rumiko Takahashi's folks don't necessarily like you showing <laughs> the books. So you just get the cover for now. I don't want to risk it. But I recently read a couple months ago, for the very first time in 2022, the Battle Angel Alita series, the first one, and I loved it. I made a really nice video if you want to check it out. So now I had to do it because the freaking finale for that first series ends on a damn cliffhanger and I was annoyed <laughs> when that happened. So I started picking up the Last Order Omnibus editions. Here I have the first two. Looks fantastic. I don't want to look too much into it. I don't want to spoil the story. I have no idea what happens in uh, Last Order. So I'm excited for that and I'm looking forward to more Alita goodness. The next one here is my second ever physical edition of an Osamu Tezuka book. This is the Princess Knight Omnibus. This is one of my favorite Tezuka creations. I like the anime for it. And it's this, uh, Dororo and Astro Boy. Those are my top three uh, Tezuka creations. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan and I know it's gonna be sacrilegious uh, but there are a couple creations uh, from Osamu Tezuka that I absolutely love and I had to own this omnibus. I love the artwork, I love the story, I'm super excited to dig into this. Next up is Spriggan Volume 1. I'll be completely honest once again I have no memory of Spriggan whatsoever Sounds pretty cool. I decided to pick up the first Deluxe Edition book and I just found it funny that people online were complaining about the dimensions and the spine. Will it crease? Will it be unreadable in the future? All I can say, this is a book. It's meant to be read. Go ahead and read it. Enjoy it. All that fun stuff. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the small details. Just enjoy 
a really uh, interesting looking manga from the 90s. Next up is my dress up darling. I got volume four. You might remember in my previous video, I randomly picked up volume one and five because I really like the anime. So now that I have one and five, I might as well get everything. So I found, um, or actually I found online volume four, but I got volume six from my local Walmart. They've been stocking up on manga recently, diverse titles and genres, so that's exciting. Saw that and went ahead and picked it up. I'm excited to read volume six because that is new material that's not covered in the anime. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess volume 10. I am super excited about this. We are one volume away from completing this set. This is probably the best Zelda manga adaptation. The visuals are fantastic. Can't wait to uh, have the whole thing on my collection. Last time I talked about Call of the Night, I really love the anime and I'm loving the manga. And I picked up one, two, and three. This time around, I couldn't get four, five, and six. So I got seven, eight, and nine. I love the art on this and I love the story. I love the mashup between, you know, a coming of age story mixed with vampires and romance. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, as of making this video, I was able to pick up volume six and my buddy Travis messaged me a couple days ago as of recording this that he found volume four. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. Just need to get five and I'll have everything that's out at the moment. Now this is a series that I really need to catch up on. I haven't seen everything. This is uh, Bakemonogatari. I have the first three volumes. I decided to pick up four, five, and six. I love the original anime and I'm looking forward to reading the entirety of the story in manga format because the anime is super expensive but the art is phenomenal on these if you like urban legends and folklore a uh, bit of the supernatural and coming of age stories a uh, bit of fan service here and there do check out bakemonogatari also the spines look fantastic i love that they're all different colored that is super cool to me I gotta give a shout out to my friend, Just Mason, for gifting me these books. It means a lot. This, these are the first three volumes of Blackjack from Osamu Tezuka. Blackjack is another character I forgot to talk about when I mentioned uh, Princess Knight a couple minutes ago. Another cool classic character that I know from anime, but I've never read the manga version. So I'm super excited about that. Looks really cool. And I just love, you know, Blackjack is known worldwide. It's an international hit. And just the fact that he's a Robin Hood-esque character, but a surgeon in the dark corners of the world with uh, some really crazy uh, surgeries and stuff that happens. I'm super excited to check out the books, like I said. I know these are hard to find. Maybe one day they'll print them again or they'll do new editions. But for now, I'm but super grateful to own these. Thank you so much to my buddy, Just Mason. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That time I got reincarnated as a slime volume 20. It's insane that I have 20 volumes of probably one of my favorite modern isekai. Art is solid. I'm not up to date with it, unfortunately, but I do plan to uh, remedy that and read everything but this looks super cool and I can't wait to uh, talk more in depth about uh, the slime manga. Dinosaur Sanctuary, number one, one of my hyped manga of 2022. The fact that it's dinosaurs, it's kind of Jurassic Park-esque, but it's more wholesome. Uh, they're trying to, they find out that dinosaurs are still alive and they open resorts and parks and all that stuff. And uh, the main character is trying to revitalize one of the zoo exhibits with the dinosaurs so yeah it, it, it's such a fun wholesome uh, cool read plus the art is really nice don't let the cover fool you the inside material is really awesome as you're seeing here and there's enough definition and realism to the dinosaurs to keep you coming back for more it's been a while since i've talked about a lot of anime blu-rays but here we have from mamoru hosuda bell I've heard a little bit of everything, so I'm excited to check it out. So yeah, looking forward to that. 
Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water, the complete series. This is, of course, by Hideaki Anna, the creator of Neon Genesis Evangelion. This is another classic series that as soon as it was announced, I knew I had to add it to my collection. Shogun Samurai. I am not the most knowledgeable when it comes to live action samurai films or chanbara or however you want to say it with the sword play. But this is a classic. I've heard great things about it, so I decided to pick it up. This was actually a birthday gift to myself back in September. Heart and Yumi Collection. This is a limited edition release from Discotech. And to my understanding, we're only getting these 2,000 copies, no more. Once it's gone, it's gone. So I had I went ahead and picked it up. It's a it's a funny, wholesome series for everybody. It includes two movies and the full series of this baby dino being raised by another one, if I remember correctly. I don't have much memory of it, but it looks sweet, wholesome, and funny enough that I wanna own it. So as you can see here, I got copy number 326 out of 2000, which is really cool. And like any discotheque release, a great attention to detail and love and care for this release. Reversible cover, slip cover, all that fun stuff. I love the discotheque stuff. They're so great. And speaking of discotheque, we're going to wrap it up here with the last one. Project Eiko 2, plot of the Dai Tokuji Financial Group. I'll be honest with you, I only know of Project Eiko 1, so this is going to be a brand new experience for me. I love the restoration efforts looking absolutely fantastic. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it. That's the haul, the first one, part one, the <laughs> September, October, or actually let's just call it the fall haul, part one. Expect part two real soon because I do have some uh, packages coming in with more uh, manga that were not featured in this video. So thank you everybody for tuning in. If you want me to review a specific product shown here, let me know in the comments section down below and I'll add it to my list and we'll get that done. Thank you everybody for subscribing and being a part of Awaken Geekdom. I truly appreciate it. I've got to go. God bless. Stay safe out there. Catch you on the next one. Thank you.